Ah, Dawn Gate. It is a shame you had to die so young. You had so much potential. I may be an archivist, but I supervise the military history section. Here I am picking Reyna, the archivist, who is uh, a tank. Not just a tank, but the tank, I would say. The tanky tank, the tankiest of all tanks. Her archetype was the unkillable tank. You should probably be able to tell by the fact that she's got an enormous shield, which she can target at a particular enemy as one of her abilities, as her W. It uses her resource. Discipline. All her other abilities are on cooldowns. I didn't have a loadout particularly tailored for her, so out of the three I did have at that point, I picked the one I figured would be the most appropriate and useful. You'll see how that worked out. I also want to play her in the role of a tactician. Because of all the four roles, this one seems to suit her the best. I do not want to last hit minions with her because she does not have a lot of damage. The hunter role could theoretically be fulfilled by her with her shield blocking, I guess. The predator role would be quite risky since once again she is the tank, so getting assists is absolutely possible, but getting kills and doing anything but simply initiating team fights might prove to be Quite difficult, although of course not impossible. The role of the tactician seems to be the most straightforward. You just poke the enemies to gain additional vim on a cooldown. So you poke them, you wait a little bit, you poke them again and get more vim and then wait for the cooldown to cool down once again and poke them some more. And of course you get bonus vim from dying minions in your lane. So you stay in the lane and harass your opponents. The most straightforward role to play, in my opinion. That's why I like this role so I much. shall watch with great interest, darlings. Impress me. I guess some people might argue that this is the noob role, because if you have no idea how to do anything else, if you don't know how to get kills, well, don't play Predator. If you don't know how to last hit, don't play Gladiator. If you don't know how to jungle properly, don't play Hunter. Well... The only role left is the tactician, so just stay in the lane, kind of. Don't even hit the minions, just, just stay near them when they die, and from time to time try to hurt the enemy shapers, and you'll get additional vim just by doing that. And it may seem like straightforward and correct reasoning, but there's more to it than that. There's also the fact that Reyna is, once again, the tank, so she's particularly well suited for staying in the lane, sustaining herself in the lane, staying alive, and from time to time dealing a bit of damage to the enemies. I will do so with her E, look at it. Of course the range is fairly short, so I still need to get close, oh, this wasn't the best of ideas. Had I been any other character, I might have been in serious trouble. Brother, are you going to help or not? I'm helping in my own way. Yeah, hit something. Pay attention. As you might have noticed, Zalgas is Reyna's brother. Of course, the character interactions are one of my favorite things in the entire game. The fact that these characters have their personalities and. A waste of potential. I'll head that way. Anyway, as I was saying, um, I will try to poke the enemies, but I guess I will do so in the other lane. Since our jungle is in the jungle, there are two people in bottom lane, so I don't want to. I don't want to leave our Paul Volok alone in top lane. I will use my E just just like that to keep poking to get additional vim from harassing the enemies. Because it fires this sort of projectile, it has a fairly short range. But at the very least, it, it has some range. It's more than melee, which is what her basic attacks are. Her W is a shield, so once again, not necessarily damage dealing. And her Q causes her to lunge towards an opponent and hit them. Just bash them with her shield, so once again, you fight in close quarters with her. Her ultimate, however, is ranged. But using your ultimate... It's not something you can do all the time. However, I will note that the ultimate does deal range damage. It fires a hammer. The hammer flies, 
I'm low on health, but I, I should be able to sustain myself since I'm playing right now. Uh, the hammer flies in a straight line, and when it hits an enemy shaper, it blows up and stuns all the opponents in the area. It's magnificent to behold. It also deals a bit of damage when it explodes. It also explodes if it reaches um, a certain distance without hitting any sort of enemy. But that's obviously not what you want to have happened. Oh, and my E bounces to a few targets. So I can hit the minions in the lane, and then it can bounce to an enemy Shaper and still grant me additional Vim for dealing damage to a Shaper. Due to being the tactician. Here comes Salus. Can we get Fenmol? We should be able to get Fenmol. Because Salus should be able to CC him, he should be able to root him. Because Root is in his basic kit. Unfortunately, I had to use my Tailwind to get away. Otherwise, I would have been in trouble as the enemy Freya. Could would have gotten me killed. I'm tanky, but I'm not. I'm not that tanky. I cannot. I cannot live through everything. But through most things. So far, I do not have any desirable upgrades. So I will just keep what I have, which is time, which lowers my cooldowns and abilities, and it lowers the cooldown on my basic attack, so I can attack Should quicker. Of course, whether you get lower cooldowns or... Well, whether um, it impacts the cooldowns on your abilities more, or your basic attack more, depends on the archetype of the character you are playing, which in this case I'm not entirely sure. It probably impacts my uh, my basic attack more than anything else. Either way, Fenmol is being obnoxious here. But for a good reason, because Freya was hiding in the bushes. Just waiting for us to overextend. However, overextending... Overextending with Reyna is a difficult thing to accomplish, considering how tanky she is. Not because of the loadout I took, not because of the items I got, just on her own. She's tanky, no matter what you get. We had to disengage, because the enemies were pushing us quite hard. Unfortunately, this leaves our binding in, in a bit of a bind. I need to defend this, but on my own I am in quite a precarious position. I will try to shield myself since I have my W now. But this is not necessarily a comfortable spot for me to be in. I'm trying my best, of course, to be calm about this, but see, these are the things that can happen. Fortunately, as I mentioned, I can shield myself from a lot of damage, so you don't necessarily want to fight me 1v1, but they can just well me down eventually. It's difficult to do so, but it is possible to do so. Obviously, you can kill any character in this game, especially if you outnumber them. That's the most obvious way of killing people. Once again, since I am a tactician, I will want to try and deal damage to enemy shapers. I might actually be able to get this guy. Okay, that was my Q to cross the distance, that was my E to deal some damage. He tries to drain me, but to no avail. I blow my tailwind because, hey, Freya could actually get me and kill me here. Which I do not want to have happened. This was a, a, a very nice situation. Had Freya gotten me, it would have been a fairly even trade, which is not something I want, obviously. I take energy, which gives me, first of all, shock, which deals a bit of magical damage from time to time, every 10 seconds, all, all less often than that, if I, if I attack less often. And also I get plus 10 points of mastery, which increases the damage of my abilities, basically. And even though I'm supposed to tank mostly, even though I am supposed to hit people with my basic attacks, I guess... I still prefer to harass people with my E and knock them into the air with my Q from time to time to disrupt them, to deal some damage to them, you know, whatever I can. See here, I use my E, he uses his ult, and together we kill Fenwall once again. Here's Freya! I ult, but unfortunately there is not enough of a follow-up, so we do not get help. But we sure tried. 
He used his ult, and we got Fenmol, I used my ult, and unfortunately we were unable to get Freya. And here I'm last hitting the minions, well, some of them anyway. If we can get Vex out of position, yeah, he'll be absolutely dead. As Valk said, no escape. Has been slain. If Carl out of position, Vex is just incredibly easy to kill. Because that's his thing, he can deal a lot of damage, an absurd amount of damage, especially with the right items, but he does not really have any escapes. If you catch him out of position, he's done for. It's as simple as that. Here comes Freya, but she's level 6. I'm level 7, and here's Volok, who's also level 6, so... We outpower her. And outnumber, obviously. And here's Fenmol. And as powerful as Fenmol can be, as soon as we take care of Freya, which we will right now, Fenmol will be on his own and will be forced to stay back, to run away, or to face the consequences, which will be lethal. Be smart, Fenmol. Leave this. Leave this binding to us. Leave this place. I continue my harassment campaign against Fenmol, who seems to be quite a juicy target. Even though he gets more powerful as he loses health, obviously as he loses health he's getting closer and closer to death. A good spot. Which is something incredibly easy for me to deal with since I'm quite a tanky character. And even if he chooses to deal a lot of damage to me, which, once again, is not the brightest of ideas, I mean, being focusing tank. Not really brilliant. If he focuses me, I will probably live through that, no matter how much damage he can deal. And overall, if he's low on health, I can probably, at the very least, CC him. I can slow him down so my teammates can get him. Or I may actually be able to deal lethal damage in certain circumstances. If he has been sufficiently damaged before him. Here comes Freya, boldly striking at our Volok. Admirable. Courageous of her, but misguided. And Freya should die here. Fenmal uses his ult, I try to scale him off, and I did. I tried to use my ult to get Fenmol, but instead Freya jumped trying to get me and just ate the hammer, which killed her instantly due to the, um, the amount of damage it deals on its own. I wanted to stun Fenmol with my ult, instead I got the kill on Freya, which I won't complain about, really. Resonance gives me even more bonus damage on abilities, and on top of that, it bounces half the damage I deal from time to time on a cooldown to a random enemy. So in a team fight, it's pretty much guaranteed that it'll be another Shaper. So I deal some damage to one Shaper, half of it as a bonus to another Shaper, and there's of course a bonus that I will deal in terms of damage to both of them. Okay, let's get Fenmol. I got Fenmol. It was a nice gank. And just like that... And just like that, I have four kills and one assist. Zero deaths. Of course, I have zero deaths on a tank, so... That's unremarkable, but... Uh, so many kills. <laughs> on a tank character. I might be able to cut someone off, it will be the... Oh, the, this King of Masks is out of position, why is he going this way? What is he trying to... Act? Seriously. The only reason he lived was because he, he hit his root on me. Otherwise he would have been so dead. That was so, so risky of him. Anyway, I suggested to my team to get the Parasite because um, it's an objective on the map. Something we could do. And I would like to harass our opponents some more, but they are behind the binding, they are... Really, in a defensive position, they duck themselves in. I guess I will leave well enough alone. For now, of course, for now. Ooh, are we going to get the Parasite? Well, not. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll try to gank, I guess. Let's try to annoy Vex a little. Will he move out of position? Well, that would be foolish of him, extremely foolish of him, so I don't think so. He should probably stay at a maximum distance. What the... And of course, Fenmol seems to be an easy target. I've gotten him, what, twice now? 
Both of them are relatively squishy, I would say. They can deal, they can dish out a lot of damage, but if caught out of position, they will be screwed. In the bushes. Our Salus waits patiently. Uses his ult to slow some of the enemies down. Unfortunately, he was unable to root anyone. Fenmol falls, and our Volok charges in to get the enemy Vex. He might... Well, he, neither did he get Vex nor die himself, so I guess that's, uh, that's a positive outcome. Dying to the Binding would have been horrible. We don't want an even trade here. We want to maintain our advantage. An enemy binding falls. And we are getting further and further ahead by the moment. Almost, almost. We should probably get the parasite at some point. Even though it is fairly early, we do have the advantage we need. What could they do to stop us? Force a team fight? I would take one gladly. Here we are, annoying Vex. Because my team knows that as soon as Vex gets out of position, he will get ganked. There's, there are no two ways about it, it's as simple as that. He can deal a lot of damage to us, of course. But first of all, I am tanky, so I can take a lot of damage as well. And secondly, if he moves to close the distance, as he will have to if he wants to reach us, he will move out of position and he will get ganked. We are in a comfortable Seems enough wise. spot that we are a few levels ahead, so we can even make a few mistakes from here and we'll still probably win. As I've mentioned, the only thing in my kit that uses a resource is my shield, so I periodically lower it and raise it using my discipline. Here we have an attempted gank on Vex. Unfortunately, I was out of position, uh, as well as our Silas, I guess, so we did not proceed. There are three of us here, and three of them, but we are stronger. Freya... Freya blinks away. And Fenmal uses his W to run away, but a Tailwind has been used by Salas. He roots him. The ult on Fenmal does not help. I've used my Q to finish Fenmal off, and once again... Once again he went down. It would be time to get the Parasite. What better time would there be? Our enemies are dead. And the Parasite is right here. What are we gonna do about it? Just leave it here? Perhaps that our enemies take it? Of course not. We will just kill it. Uh, it should focus me. Unfortunately it's focusing someone else. In this case Salus. But don't worry. We will get it. No one will die. We got it. Now we should probably go home, not necessarily to be family man, but you know, to buy some items. I have almost two and a half thousand Vim on me, and I should spend it on something. Of course I last hit a few of the minions to get even more Vim to spend. Not because I necessarily need to, but because I can and because we want to unpush things as much as we can for our striders to be the most effective they can. I walk this place just just to be on the safe side. It's not necessarily right now. We don't we can get caught out of position and it will probably benefit us more than anything if we get caught and falls to team fight because we will just wipe the floor with our enemies. Unless something truly dreadful happens and all five of them catch uh, one yourself. of us or I don't know two of us. Oh hello Vex, unfortunately. Fix was the one out of position. And as I've mentioned, he does not have uh, an ability that allows him to reposition. Not a lot of mobility on that guy, so once he's out of position, he's pretty much dead. He needs to coordinate with his team and he needs to play very, very positionally. Which he didn't! Which caused him to die! Which means we can get this binding, but pretty much free! I have almost three and a half thousand Vim, and I don't have the time to go back over three and a thousand Vim at this point. I would like to get some items, you know, I can make my character even more powerful, even though I am a tank. Let me remind you, I am not playing a character that is supposed to deal a lot of damage, I'm playing a tank. Volok, Volus, Volok is a bruiser, I guess he is the sort of character that can deal a lot of damage and take a lot of damage as well. 
but I am almost purely a tank. That's the idea. I am supposed to block damage for my team, defend them, stand between our enemies and Your my part, team, gentles. protect them. Seems well. But at this point I can pretty much hold my own in terms of damage dealing. Of course I do not deal as much damage as my as my teammates who are more focused on damage dealing, but when it comes to our enemies I I can kill them. With some help at times. All in specific conditions on my own. But still that's impressive for a tank, isn't it? Salgus suggests that we get these guys. And this is a decent idea, though. We were somewhat out of position. Now would be the time to take this binding down, and with it down, we'll probably be able to assault the Guardian. Well, first we'll kill the Colos, and then we'll, we will get the Guardian. Our Fendemol needs to be a bit more careful. Ooh, hello, Vex! Oh, he blank away, but I will use my ult to stun him, and now I have to blow my Tailwind, use my E to slow him down, and use my Q to finish him off. Now would be the time to turn back, I guess. Where is my team? Oh, hello, here's the King of Masks! Let's use my Q, use my E, use my basic attack. Okay, and they have given up. Well, this was a short and sweet match with a tank, wasn't it? It was fairly lopsided, but <laughs> what can you do? Thanks for watching and bye guys.